Hi, welcome to Odoo Tutorial by Basam Infotech. Today we will be discussing Sales Module by Odoo as sales is an important aspect in business and provides a key link between the customer and the product and the business. So let's dive in. Once the user logs into the Odoo and selects a Sales Module, he is presented with a list view of all the existing sale orders and quotations. This also provides many insights as we can see the total value of each sale order or quotation and the next activity to be performed from this particular list view. The user can also filter out sales orders and quotations based on the existing filters like quotations, sale orders. Then he can filter out quotations based on date which can be month-wise, quarter-wise or year-wise. And the sales orders and quotations can also be grouped by based on salesperson, customer or order date which can be a year, quarter, month, week or day. So, let's create a quotation by clicking the create button. And when I'm clicking on the create button, we are provided with a form view wherein we can provide the customer and product details. When click selecting a customer, Odoo will automatically load other details which are already stored in Odoo related to that particular customer. Then we can provide the order date and the price list and payment terms and details like that. And then provide the product details that we are sending in a quotation to the customer. As we can see, as we provide the product details and pricing, the total value of the product uh, quotation is automatically calculated by Odoo. And there is an option for providing optional products which can be used for cross-selling. And after that, in the other info, we can provide other details like delivery date, shipping policy, etc. Odoo automatically calculates an expected shipping date, but we can also provide our own dates, custom dates, as per our requirement. So after giving all these details, we can save the quotation and we can re-edit it until we are sure of the details provided in the quotation. Once we are ready to send the quotation to the customer through email, we can click on send by email button. This opens up a new pop-up wherein we can see an email wizard which contains a default body which we can edit by clicking on it and it also attaches a printout of the quotation which is created by default by Odoo. We can view the attachment by clicking on it or we can also view it by going to the quotation and clicking on print. So once we are ready with the email body, we can send it to the customer by clicking the send, send button. So the quotation state will be changed to quotation sent when the email is sent to the customer. So next is we wait for the response from the customer. Once the customer replies and is sure of the product and uh, products and other details, we can confirm the sales order by clicking on this confirm button. So now the quotation will be converted into a sales order. So since we have to deliver products to the customer, a delivery order will also be created automatically by Odoo, which is related to the details as in the sales order. So to view the delivery order, we go to the delivery button. And now we can see the delivery order where the product details are as in the sales order. So now to deliver the products, we can click on edit and select the number of quantities we are delivering. So we can select either select entire quantities or we can deliver it partially. So if we are delivering it partially, for example, if we are, if I have two quantities to deliver and I am just delivering one, so I will just mark it as one and then I will save the quotation. So now since we have to validate it and we click on the validate button, Odoo will ask us since we have only less products than the initial demand. Either we can create a back order for the remaining products or we can continue without any back order. So we will just create a back order since we have to deliver the rest of the products also. So this particular delivery order will be validated and confirmed with the number of quantities we provided. Now when we go back to the sales order and click on delivery, we can see that another delivery order is created for the pending products. So we can go to that and confirm that too. So now we have delivered the entire products as requested by the customer. So since delivery is done, now it's time to invoice the customer for the products. So let's go to invoicing. So to invoice the customer, we will go back to the sales order. Once we are in the sales order, we can see a button known as create invoice. So when we click on the create invoice button, Odoo shows us with three options for invoicing. Either it's a regular invoice or we can we provide a down payment based on percentage of fixed amount. We will now go with regular invoice. So we will create, click on create and view invoice. Once we click on the create and view invoice, 
an invoice will be created against this particular sales order and it will be in the draft stage. So we can verify the details in the invoice and add any additional details if required like the receipt in bank, customer reference etc. So once all these details are ready, when we are ready to invoice it to the customer, we can click on confirm. This will post the invoice and we see we can register the payment now. So there are two options, either we can register the payment or we can add a credit note against the customer. So if we need to create a credit note against this customer, we can click on add credit note. Otherwise, if you are going the usual way, you can register the payment by clicking on register payment. So now Odoo pops up with a new window wherein we can select the type of payment and we can select the amount to be paid, the currency and etc. So we will provide the currency as the entire amount and then we will create, click on create payment. Once we click on create payment, the pay Odoo will mark this particular invoice as paid. So now that as the payment is done, we can either print this particular invoice using the print button and select the invoices. And if you want to send it to the customer, we have an option for send and print. We can click on the send and print button and this an email window will pop up and we can send this particular invoice to the customer. So that is an entire sales process in Odoo. I hope you understand the process. Thank you.